What's going on guys? It's your boy Dev. Welcome back to another one of these recategory categorizations. We're staying on our upload street, so let's just hop straight into it. Um, Peppy Gals, I mean, this team just... <laughs> this team goes without saying, it's a pretty good goddamn team. Honestly, would I say that this is one of the best two-way teams in the game? Mm, I, would, I would probably say yeah. I would, yeah, I would probably say yeah. Mostly because this this bad bitch right over here. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at my old ass video from September 21st, 2020. God damn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do I have any comments on this video? Let me see. Sad pan hours. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's up, bro? How's your day? Oh, hey. But good. Because I haven't fucking... <laughs> I didn't reply to that in over a year. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that. But yeah. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at how much the category has changed. Obviously, the big change to this category and what it really, really needed was a real leader skill being STR Riddell. STR Riddell is, she's still wicked, but I feel like the only problem with this unit is that this unit just is not on enough categories. This unit is literally on like four categories, so you will never get to use this unit. That really decreases the valuability of uh, using STR Riddell, which is why she's basically fucking as broken as she is. But yeah. Um, taking a look at it. Um, obviously we got more leaders that we are for over here inside this uh the sub. Yeah, they they knock these guys. Well, excuse me, these gals. They knock these gals from leaders to to sub leaders. Um, yeah, <laughs> like this this new uh what's her name? I don't even remember her name. I'm not even gonna pronounce that. But yeah, did we uh we got her from the um I think it was from that double rates banner. This peppy gals um universe flower soccer girl. Uh, who else did we get? I know that, that was really just her. Uh, okay, so let's, let's take a look at this category, right? I'm going to play the video and see how much the category changed. I'm quite curious, to be honest. And come on, come on, Dev, scroll. No, come on. <laughs> it's taking a little while here. Okay? I know he's about to scroll. Or me, you know. Because <laughs> the video is like basically two damn years old now. Alright. Alright, let's pause it right there, right? Um, so Super AGL really hasn't changed, Extreme AGL really hasn't changed that much either, besides the fact that AGL Mai did get an easy A, and, um, that, uh, that Bola over there, that Bra Pen got that easy A too, um, yeah, everyone's over here is the same, uh, Tech did get some changes, obviously we got, um, Tech, uh, Dokkan Fest, Kellen Khalifa, who's practically the best stacking DFE unit in the game, um, we did get this unit with Swal Saga, um, Peppy Gal, we also got... We got your who's easy a did we get oh we got your easy a over here we did get zangya because uh zangya was not over here yeah <laughs> she didn't even drop by the time i made this damn video um yeah tech oh wait hold on what the way tech toa wasn't in peppy gals oh no she probably wasn't peppy gals she was just an ssr yeah because she, she didn't have an awakening yeah that makes a lot of sense um, but yeah, um, Tech Toa did get her awakening. Zangia was released. Uh, you was released. You was released. Um, what else? If we go over to, oh yeah, you got your you you got your awakening from the world tournament. Uh, let's go ahead and scroll a little more down. Okay, we take a look at In. What change did the In get? Um, we did get this um Demon Goddess Toa, who's definitely one of the best support type units in the game, bar none. But the only problem is that, uh, while you could use her, let's take a look at her categories real fast. Her links kind of suck, I won't even lie. Yeah, she's on a, a nice a nice bunch of categories. She's on a bunch of category teams. Um, yeah, she lowers attack and skills. Yeah, she's got she's goaded. She's goaded. She's definitely one of the best support type units in the game. Easily. Um uh, let's take a look at Int again. You got your easy A, obviously. I'm not sure if it was at the time. I'm not sure when your easy actually released. So I wanna, I wanna actually take a look at that. Uh, we already had Fasha. We got you. Who I don't know. Your easy A sucks ass. This Videl's easy A is not good. Um, taking a look at it, you got your easy A, making you a good fusion support type unit. Um, I think that's all. You two, you two got an easy. Well, you already had an easy A, but I'm not sure if you had your easy A at the time. Let me take a look. Um, your easy A released in 20. Yeah, definitely, definitely did not. Yeah, this was September 21st, 2021. I mean 20, 2020. Excuse me. <laughs> I threw off the date, yeah, but this was in October 8th of 2021, yeah, so your EZA wasn't even out at the time. You got an EZA make, making you a, just a, a better support type unit. Um, I don't think there's any more changes to Int. 
Yeah, they basically just basically just added your awakening, and you got an easy A, which sucks dick, and you got an easy A, which is okay, and you already been at easy A, so you were already good, and you had an easy A also, making you a great fusion support type unit. Um, Demon Goddess Toa, go to support type unit, and that's really just about it. Uh, moving on over to STR, let me have him scroll down a little bit more. STR, uh, this Khalifa, honestly, I feel like her easy A is kind of butt cheeks. I feel like she's not worth easy A at all, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's really what I think about her. Obviously, STR Videl was added to this STR list. She's, uh, honestly, when I say she's a, a top 5, top 10 TUR right now, I don't know. I really have to make another list to, to really find out. Um, I would probably say no, she's not a top 5 DFE, though, anymore, in my opinion. Uh, looking around, we got... STR Kefla is already here, right? Yeah, STR Kefla sucks. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. She sucks. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna say it flat out. Rainbowed, 55%. Two dupes, three dupes. She sucks. I'm, I'm just gonna keep it a 50 with you guys. Uh, but yeah, that's really all there is. You already had your easy A. If I'm not wrong, you don't have an easy A yet, right? Let me take a look at you real fast. You don't. You would actually be a pretty nasty support type. You know? I mean, what the fuck is this? You're getting... You're, you're giving... Peppy gals, a hundred and twenty percent defense, bro. She got easy. She'd be nasty, and she seals. They, they probably make her lower attack and seal. Yo, they they build these peppy gals and just so fucking just bustedly. Um, obviously, um, if if bustedly is a word, uh, yeah, SCR Vidal is literally the only new thing besides uh, Khalifa's um easy A. Everyone else here. Oh yeah, and it's uh, Android eighteen gets easy A also, making her a good support type unit. Um, and you already had your easy A. Yeah, so basically, there's not really too much that changed to STR. Um, over Extreme STR, obviously, we have the three of your easy A's. Your easy A wasn't out at the time, but your easy A, uh, you got your easy A. I don't know why. I don't like Android 21's easy A. I, I don't know. I, I just don't like Android 21's easy A. I, there's something about it. She's better, but I, I don't like it. I really don't like what they did with her easy A. I'm just not a fan of it, personally. She's good. It's just, I don't like it. I don't like her easy A. I'm not saying that she's bad, though. Um... Uh, you you got an easy A obviously, and you got an easy. I'm I'm pretty sure your easy A was out at the time. Let me double check that. Let me see. I want to take a look. Yeah. Uh. You, no, your easy A was not out at the time. Hell no. Your your easy A dropped in 2021. Okay, so yeah, your easy A was also in 2021, right? Yeah. Your easy A is not even on global yet, bruh. Come on now. C catch them up, bruh. Catch them up. But yeah, the three of these um girls did not have their easy A's. So uh yeah, that's what's new over here. Uh, yo, Peppy Gals got some significant buffs though. That's that's real shit. They were already this I could argue that this category was already good and just just needed a real leader. But other than that, this category this category is nasty. But anyways, um moving on over to physical. The only real difference is that for they got extreme physical uh Peppy Gal unit. I didn't even notice that we had an extreme physical Peppy Gal unit until she dropped, obviously, this uh, Poutine, Poutine, I can't pronounce her name. But yeah, uh, she's a Dragon Ball hero support, I think. Let me check that. I don't, I don't even know. Let me go and double check that. Uh, I think you got an easy A, if I'm correct. Let me check that Peppy Gal's easy A thing. Yeah, you did get an easy A. Okay. You got an easy A, which is different. You got a physical Kefla. Oh, my God. Oh, far and away. I feel like she's just... She's one of the most goaded easy A's, yeah. You obviously got your easy A. You got an easy A. You don't have an easy A. Launch, you're just good at the start of battle. You, you, okay, basically, the only changes here is that these two got an easy A. Uh, let me uh, take a look. You're a Dragon Ball. No, you're a crossover support type unit. Yeah, you're a crossover support type unit. Okay. Yeah, 30% chance to stun and raises attack and defense by 30%. Okay. Um, Moving back over to Peppy Gals. I don't see no reason why you were running on Peppy Gals, by the way. But yeah, anyways, moving back on over. Um, physical Kefla again, Easy A is fucking goaded. What was your Easy A? Your Easy A is crazy forgettable. What was your Easy A? I gotta see this. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm not reading all that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not reading all that shit. Yeah, we're gonna just gonna keep moving on. But anyways, um. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any SR changes? Or I mean, SSR changes? Oh yeah, you, you over here, you uh, got add the Peppy Gals. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any SSR Peppy Gals that haven't been awakened yet. Nothing. That's really it. That's it. Is there SR Peppy Gals? Yeah, of course there are. <laughs> there, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, honestly, this category just like it's just so much more better. AGL my, AGL my. 
honestly, bro, I'm not gonna say she slept on, but man, she has a goaded easy. A. I'm gonna we're gonna talk about it right now. What's another easy I really want to talk about? Another. I'm I'm also gonna talk about Tech Hill and Khalifa. I just feel like this unit did not be released. I, I feel like they need to be released at all, in my opinion. <clears throat> um, this World Tournament Android 18. I'm about to say 17. Excuse me. Uh, what other EZA I want to talk about? This is Fidel. I'm just like, this, this EZA is like, why they do this EZA like this? And I want to talk about Android 21 too. And before I move on, I feel like it, this category is very good. I would probably say they are up there as one of the best two-way teams in the game, simply because double SCR Riddell. But the thing is with that is that this category team lacks LRs. I feel like their lack of LRs is really made up by the fact of these great, great EZA units that are on this team. Like, just, it's it's crazy. These great EZA units, these support type units, just like, all these units basically having Battlefield D.Va just, like, helps it out. It's simple. And, and double SCR Riddell, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, um, I want to talk about AJ Mai, right? AJ Mai gains 50% attack and defense and has a 70% chance to stun on super attack. Making her stupidly good for Fusion Sagas. Oh, excuse me. Future Saga Super Battle Road. Peppy Gal Super Battle Road. Time Traveler Super Battle Road. Revenge Super Battle Road. Earthling Super Battle Road. It, bro, literally, that's five. Five out of her seven categories has a Super Battle Road stage. So she is literally busted on all five of these damn category stages wickedly um I'm, I'm not wrong does future saga have extreme super battle road stage i'm not i don't i'm not completely sure i don't remember um but if it does and any of the extreme super battle road stages or super battle road stages that have these stages she, she's busted she's amazing for all five of these stages so yeah her super attack effect is fucking ridiculous um she gives all allies three key with no restriction <laughs> three keep it with no restriction and and just for any unforeseeable reason that you get below 50 percent hp she foresees super attacks i'm just nitpicking the the best things about her she foresees super attacks which you will definitely get under 50 percent hp in super battle road and extreme super battle road she gives all allies three key has a 70 percent chance to stun and gains 50 percent attack and defense on super now if that ain't stupid i i don't i don't know what is this I don't know what it is. She's she's ridiculous. But anyways, um, go ahead and close AGL my because she's just fucking goaded. Um, now moving on over to Tech Hill and Cleave. Now I have used this unit, right? I have used this unit ever since the the time I've said I haven't been, you know, I've been a little off on Dokkan. Then I've I've really got back into it. Um, after that uh that little power level shit came back. Honestly, using Tech Hill and Khalifa for like the time that I did, I really really don't like this unit this unit is very okay this unit's okay but this unit does not deserve a dfe this unit doesn't deserve a dfe i'm sorry elijah this unit doesn't deserve a dfe and doesn't deserve like it's like a spot in this game like bond of, bond of friendship is a good category team right this is definitely a good category team but rapid growth sucks fat nuts like <laughs> if you were elite this oh, excuse me i said elite if you used to release this unit, why the hell didn't you just make them <laughs> another Peppy Gals lead? Like, why not? Who, who cares? Because you, you should have just made them another Peppy Gals lead. Because Rapid Grove sucks. No one runs this category. No one runs this category. <laughs> no one. Who's running Krillin and Gohan? No one. Who's running? Who else is a Rapid Grove lead? Um, who's running STR Kefla? No one! Who's running them? No one! <laughs> this unit is just like... This unit... I feel like this unit just has boring design. It's like, oh, ha ha, stack attack and defense. Oh, oh wow. Great for long events. <laughs> this unit is just like... In my opinion, I think this unit is boring. I think they deserve a spot in the game. And... If, like... If you were to put these two in the game... I don't think this should have been a rapid growth lead. I feel like them being a rapid growth lead just like just kills them as a unit. You should have just made them a Peppy Gals lead. A Peppy Gals lead, or I don't know, let's say like a let me full power. Shit, why not? Well, why not another full power lead? Because full power needs a new lead. Um, who else needs a new lead? I would probably argue that Super Saiyan 2 needs a new lead. 
Uh, Universe Six, I would argue that. Well, no, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say Universe Six. No, no, Universe Six already has Tech Hit. Tech Hit is easily one of the best EZA units in the game. Um, nah, Universe Six doesn't need it. I, I, I don't know. Fucking time limit. They, they should have been a time limit leader. I don't know. It's just this. This unit is fucking useless. I. I <laughs> It's like, oh, ha, ha, stack attack and defense, so carry over inside Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. That's it. <laughs> Moving on over to the next unit. <laughs> I, I just don't like that. I don't like that unit. It's my bias. Excuse me, guys. Um, now, Invadel, right? Invadel. Um, stack attack, really whatever. Lower attack is good. Stack attack is ash cheeks. I, mean, if, I, I just feel like if you don't have an ass load of defense... Or damage reduction or some sort of dodge or anything to prevent you from taking damage then like stack and attack alone is just garbage I'm, I'm just gonna say that all right it's just it's just like for a unit like this okay i'm like okay so let's make an example out of her so she stacks attack right let's just use this primary example of uh infidel so she stacks attack and gains 20 percent attack and defense per peppy gals category ally on the team so she's forced to be running a peppy gals team right Plus an additional 80% attack and performing super attack, which, which definitely helps her out. And she lowers enemies' attack and defense by 20% for two turns and recovers 20% HP of damage dealt as HP. So, you don't really have a lot of defense to go off of outright. And if they think that this is saving her, it's not. Her links suck ass. Oh, I mean, she has Battlefield Diva, but her links still suck nuts. She has Battlefield Diva and uh, Shattering Limit and Cold Judgment, which will help her out as a defense link, as long as you get to link level 10. But other than that, like, money, 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 courage, champion strength. <laughs> Why does she have all these damn key links? Bro. She only has technically one attack. Yo, this unit sucks, bro. This unit sucks. Simple. It's like... You have six characters on a on a team, right? Technically seven if you're running a full Peppy Gauss team. So that's what is that? That's like that's a hundred and forty defense. That's 140% attack and defense at the start of turn, provided you're running a full am I doing my math wrong? No, I'm not doing my math wrong. No, I'm not okay. You you have 140% attack and defense at the start of turn, right? So and then you'll gain 80% more defense, so she'll be sitting at 220% defense and 140% attack basically within her turn. Let's take let's take a look at her EZA stats. <laughs> Yo, this unit is ass, bro. I'm just gonna move on. This unit, this unit is just like this EZA just could have been you should have just made her a support type unit. Simple. And her longevity, support type unit with damage reduction, longevity would have been so much longer. She's only on four category teams. Moving on. Um, and yeah, why would you run her if you have STR Videl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, why, what the fuck is the point of running this Videl? There's no point to run this Videl on Peppy Gals. But anyways, um, one over to the last unit I'm going to talk about for the video is STR Android 21. Now, I just feel like this unit's Easy A, I feel like they just could have been, this, this Easy A is missing something. It's just like, I, I, I feel like I see what it is. I feel like she could have gained attack and defense in her um super attack effect like 30 percent attack and defense or 50 percent attack and defense i mean why the fuck not i mean it's it's great that she gains 120 percent attack and defense to start turn plus three key that's fucking amazing but like this three key is practically useless on prep on peppy gals because you, you already have battlefield diva so i mean who cares she's a big bad boss unit, which is definitely good but you already have battlefield diva so this three key pr provided we're talking about peppy gals um here you're running a double four key leader skill with practically the entire fucking roster having Battlefield Diva. Why the hell would you need three key at the start time? I mean, it's good for all the other teams, but we're talking about Peppy Gals. This is practically useless to her. For Peppy Gals, of course. Um, not on every other team. But um, that's that's not really the big point I want to make. The big point I want to, I want to make is that she just didn't have just, she doesn't have enough. So 120% attack and defense at the start of turn is definitely good. Plus initial 21% attack and defense will perform a super attack. They, they, they basically gave her that because she's fucking Android 21. Um, plus initial 21% attack and defense when HP is 80% or above. So basically you get 42% attack and defense when you're practically when you're you're fucking attacking. Um, attack enemies attack is lower by 21% attack and defense for two turns and transforms when conditions are met. This, this fucking transformation condition, gee, why couldn't it just been bumped up to like 
a 70% chance or 80% chance at the fourth turn for the start of battle because, I mean, a 40% chance, you basically upped it by 10% from before Z Awakening. But yeah, what the hell do I know? I'm just a Dokkan YouTuber. But anyways, um, this is just like, this form is just very, very underwhelming. It's nice that she recovers HP on Super, but this is just quite fucking underwhelming. It's, again, it's great that she's a big bad boss unit, but I feel like what really like, oh yeah, she's, she has Fear and Fate too, which is nice, but you're not really going to catch that with too many units. I mean, uh, maybe with some of the Darkness Toas, maybe, but you know, moving back on over to her. Um, oh yeah, these two actually be a nasty rotation. Not even going to lie. These two would be a nasty rotation. But moving on. Um, yeah, my point is that I don't think this is enough for her. I feel like she could have gained 30% attack and defense or 50% attack and defense super attack. And then you have basically, you have a 40 percent chance to fucking transform at the fourth turn now if you're really unlucky you're not going to get this in battle if you get lucky you can get this on the fourth turn which is like ah. let's say you get her in the first slot right the first slot the first rotation she basically like if you get lucky she'll transform on turn five turn five that's not that's no bueno that's no bueno. If you get unlucky, she doesn't transform at all. This is only a 40% chance. Yo, they could have upped the chance on this. They could have gave her, like, I don't know, a stun or a seal or some shit. Because, it, like, this is just not enough. Because it's, like, lowering attack is all... It's basically all... It's cool and all. But, like, she, she could have gained defense or super attack. That That's really what I'm trying to just, just like, poke at. Because, like, that's just, like, very standard for this this meta. And this day and age of meta in Dokkan. Um, this video is going on a little long. I'm sorry, guys. Um, But, anyways... So, she transforms at the, you know, you, you catch that 40% chance. So, you're on the fifth turn. Let's say you get lucky. You're on the fifth turn, and she transforms, right? So, she then stacks attack, which I, I've, been, I've told you guys this before. I'm not a fan of this. So, she, she got to have something good in here, right? She stacks attack and loads attack. So, she basically has the same super attack effect as Infidel, right? So, she, she still has a 3 key, and from 120% attack and defense, she gains 150% attack and defense, recovers 15% HP at the start of turn practically, unrestricted, and she gains additional 21% attack and defense, like, um, unconditional. She disables enemy's guard, which is absolutely fucking useless, with an additional 21% attack and defense when the HP is above 60% or above, and when performing a super attack. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. This that what what do you do with this? She just gains she basically just gains 42% attack and defense, 15% HP recovered at the start of the turn, and 30% more attack and defense when she transforms and stacks attack and lowers attack. Bro, this is this unit, I I'm I'll be honest with you guys, this this easy A is boring. I like uh Tech 16's Easy A more. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This easy A is boring as dog shit. But anyways, I'm not saying that she's bad. I just think this is a boring easy and she could have been way way more exciting but anyways i think that's really about it i pretty much got my point of cost shout out to old me that made this fucking video in september 21 of 2020 yeah oh, man but yeah keeping up the upload streak um peppy gals man very very good category very very good category but yeah i appreciate you guys watching you guys are the best thank you for tuning into this recategory conversation shout out to the boy yeet and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace